So today we're going to be talking about the difference between Canadians and Americans. Now, I think I'm pretty qualified to talk about this as I'm a dual citizen. I'm half Canadian, half American. I've lived in the US and Canada. All right, hello and welcome to the Cameron Explorers channel. My name is Cameron. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I cover a wide variety of topics. Also, I'm just recovering from a cold. So if you hear me sniffing, I am so sorry. Also joining me today will be my American cartoon. This is uh, American Cameron. I'm Canadian Cameron. And since moving to Toronto, I often get some questions and foreigners often think that Canadians are the exact same as Americans. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna debunk that today. All right, first up, number one's pretty obvious. We always say, sorry. Uh, so I would, I would put that under communication. Number one is communication. Canadians communicate a little bit differently than Americans. Um, and oftentimes we don't like direct confrontation. Now, if you ask an American something, um, what's a, what's a question? Let's say the question is, do you like seafood? You know, I'm seeing my American friend and I say, oh, do you like seafood? And he's going to say, yeah, he's going to say no, exactly. And he, this is because Americans are more direct. Now, if you ask a Canadian that, go on, ask me. Well, do you like seafood? Maybe. Maybe I like seafood. Uh, depends on which one, depends on my mood, you know? And so when Canadians say maybe, it can mean maybe, like it really means maybe, or it can mean no. Um, also, I find that Canadians actually swear a lot less than Americans. I don't know, that's just a personal one. There's no like facts or anything like that. But as I've lived in Vancouver, Toronto, Niagara Falls, uh, traveled to, you know, basically every, every major city in Canada, I don't hear swearing a lot, but I can go to New York, LA, and I can I can hear it in the streets all the time. Along with communication, Canadians actually are quieter and they speak less aggressively than Americans. We're often more reserved and easygoing. Isn't that right? Shut up, you don't know me. All right, thank you. Uh, next up, let's do number two is food. While American and Canadian food isn't actually that different, besides we have some staples in Canada like poutine and beaver tails, one of the things that surprises Americans is the milk here, especially in Ontario. Yeah, so what's up with that? Why do you guys put it in bags? It's in bags. But other than that, Canadian food is relatively similar to American food. Other than the fast food chain, you know, we have Tim Hortons, um, which surprisingly many Canadians don't like Tim Hortons. It's more of a tourist thing. They come to Canada and they want to try Tim Hortons and pizza pizza for some reason, but real like Canadians don't enjoy it. All right, number three, let's do housing. Houses in Canada are different than America. Now this changes across Canada, especially in the eastern side. If you're going out towards Nova Scotia, PEI and Newfoundland, there's going to be a lot more brick houses. Brick houses dominate the scene out there. Also, Canadian houses are smaller. Americans like bigger things, you know, the more the better. Everything's bigger in America. But one surprising fact is Canadian houses actually have more basements. More American houses go up, so they'll have three floors and, you know, it's they build it up while Canadians will actually build down. Now, something that's kind of, I don't know if this is true across all America, but when I lived in America, my neighbors, they never took off their shoes. When I would go over to my neighbor's house, they would just tell me to leave my shoes on and I can just walk in their house with my shoes on and that that kind of blows my mind. Because in Canada, we always take off our shoes. You know, we walk around the house in our socks or we have slippers. All right, number four, number four is immigration. So both Canada and US are kind of famous for bringing in immigrants. They are both this big melting pot culturally, with people all around the world. But the difference is in US, they often embrace the American culture. When an immigrant moves to US, they start to pick up the American lifestyle, the American work style. They focus on English. While in Canada, if an immigrant comes to Canada, they often keep their, their religion, their work style, like they're, they're, they speak this, their native language in their house. So you can have people in Canada who have lived here for 30 years and they don't even know that much English because all they do at work and at home is they speak their native language. We have a city called uh, Richmond, BC, close to Vancouver, and even the street signs there are in Cantonese because of the amount of Hong Kong immigrants that come over and they keep their they keep their culture with them. All right, number five, number five is going to be language. 
course, Canada and US, the first spoken language is English. However, our secondary languages are different. US speaks Spanish and in Canada, we speak French. Bonjour to all the French viewers. Um, our French is mostly spoken in Quebec and New Brunswick, and it's slightly different than France. Also, in terms of communication, I want to talk about our famous saying, A, A, A. Now, this is this is kind of kind of a stereotype. Often we don't hear Canadians say it. Um, I think it's more more in small towns and in Alberta, I would say. More of the Western Canada. That's where they'll say like a boot and a. But if you come to Ontario, it, we speak roughly similar to maybe like a New York accent, something like that. But in terms of language, our spelling is also different than American. Um, some common ones would be favorite, defense, center. Yeah, wait a minute, why is that? Why is that? Well, because... Because Canadian uses a mixture of British and American English, so it's slightly different than Americans. Alright, number six, the political values. So speaking of politics, Canada is quite different than US. Uh, we're very much more liberal. But since Justin Trudeau coming into power, <clears throat> <clears throat> Of course, we have a conservative party too. We have a red and a blue side, but since Justin Trudeau, the active prime minister as of right now, came into power, basically all of Canada has shown their liberal side. I wouldn't say it's quite different than American, but I would say that it's more active here. Number seven would be religion. So religion doesn't play a big role in Canadians' lives. A lot of us are non-religious. Compare that to the US. Compare that to the US, where about 53% of the US are actually religious. That's right, most of us are Christian. All right, number eight. Let's talk about sports. Of course, the obvious one. Football! Football. Americans love football so much. You know, they have the Super Bowl. Uh, Football, football is celebrated in Canada. We do have college teams and high school teams, and it's a, it's a popular sport here, but nothing like the US. In contrast, Canadians love hockey. We have seven hockey teams, seven major hockey teams for cities. Uh, that would be Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton, and Winnipeg are all in the NHL, National Hockey League. All right, number nine is just a quick one, the system of measurement, how we measure things. U.S. uses the imperial way, Canada uses the metric way. Actually, Canadians are a little bit confused because we use both because we're so close to the U.S., but we also follow like the British ruling. We use both metric and imperial. So when someone asks me my height, I say in feet and inches versus rather when I should be saying centimeters. Now, surprisingly, it's true. Americans work harder than Canadians. The number 10 is working. Many Americans believe you should be ready to work 50 hours a week, while Canadians usually work about 30 to 40. Speaking of work, Canadians also get longer uh, maternity leaves. So when a woman becomes pregnant and has to leave work, often she's gone for over a year versus the American way, which is what, four to eight weeks if I'm right. And that does it for today's video. All right, the difference between Canadians and Americans. Thank you for checking out the channel. Please leave a like. I am trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to make it my full-time career. And I can only do that if you leave a like and help this video grow. Thank you so much for watching. I, I want to make a follow-up video on this about the Canadian housing crisis because most Canadians actually can't afford houses anymore. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and that'll be coming out soon. All right, see you.